What is going on guys, Pat on the shop, and tonight we're talking about these EQ cylinder heads. Um, basically, if you find a set of these, I'd highly recommend buying them, and I'm going to show you why. So, uh, these are the EQ heads I was talking about. Uh, they're kind of a mystery head. There's not a lot of information that I can find on them. Uh, a few guys have contacted me saying this and that, but I can't really get any solid information. I've contacted some big companies in the States. I've contacted EQ. They have no idea. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to show you guys some information on these and uh, or some numbers and stuff, and if you have any, from, any information, uh, feel free to contact me because I'd like to know. But the story on these heads is I actually got them off uh, a guy on Kijiji. Uh, he's actually one of my subscribers, so shout out to you, man, if you're watching this video. Uh, and uh, don't be upset with me when you see how awesome these heads are. Uh, I feel a little guilty because I got them off him for uh, I think it was four or five hundred bucks. He thought they were like an EQ uh, Vortec replacement head, uh, so that's why I was interested in them for a flow test. And then when I went to look at them, I'm like, no, those are definitely not a Vortec replacement, but they look pretty cool. I'll take them anyway. So that's how I end up getting these, um, and it turns out these heads absolutely rock. So there's a couple of things on them uh, in here. You can see. There's the EQ, and I think that says 1785, and then there's a T, I don't know if that stands for Torker or what kind of, I know Enjiquist had some you know, like Torker heads or something, but I can't really find any information exactly on that. And then on the end of the head here, it, it says uh, RH350, 350R I believe, and there's an RH350 and then a small R, and then 0500618, which I believe is the serial number. So if you have any information on those, please, like I said, feel free to contact me uh, because these heads rock. If I highly recommend, if you see a set of these heads, um, buy them up, even use, like these ones are gonna need a little bit of work, but that's okay, they're a used set of heads, it's no big deal for me. Um, but I haven't done a thing to these, and wait till you see these flow numbers. They're a 220 cc intake runner, I, uh, I, uh, CC them out and the combustion chambers are about 70 71 cc's. There are 202 valves on the intake, 16 on the exhaust, and you can see they have the nice heart shaped combustion chamber and super thick decks. These are a really heavy head. And yes, guys, that is a Vortec head that I've been porting and playing with in the background. Uh, it's almost ready, it's basically ready to go. I just with uh, everything going on right now, I haven't had a chance to get back to the flow bench and uh, get these flowed so I can give you an exact rundown on the porting on the Vortex. Uh, so I got a little delayed on that. But I'm also hoping before I can get back there, I can actually get a set of 305 Vortex heads because I know you guys are wondering about those and so am I. I have actually haven't played with uh, 305 Vortex heads other than taking them off. I haven't really done any flow tests or porting on them. Uh, so I'm really excited to get a set of 305s and try that out too. So when I take these back, the ported ones back uh, to the flow bench, I'm hoping to have the 305s as well. So I'll get that all sorted out for you and, and you guys will see that in an upcoming video for sure. So here you go guys, here's a 906, uh, the 906, the stock casting, non-Mexican uh, casting. Uh, that flows 241 CFM peak at 600 and about 240 at 500 uh, and then uh, 166.85 peak at 600 on the exhaust. This is the standard Vortec. I thought I would throw it up there to compare it to the EQ heads and as you can see these EQ heads they really rock. Uh, from a 200 thou lift on on the intake they take off uh, they're pretty much on par with the vortex under that and uh like i said you know with a street head you know here to about he uh, 450 lift are the most important parts and but as you can see even though these are a large runner head which oftentimes you'll see they'll lack in the lower lift areas uh there'll be quite a dip but you can see these EQs, they don't, they don't do that. They have quite good flow all the way up uh, 201 at 300, 244.3 at 400, 269 at 500, and 280 at uh, 600. 287 peak is what we flow them to at 700. So uh, quite a difference between them and the Vortex. Uh, but I mean, you can't. You can't complain with the Vortex 241 CFM on a stock 
head those are the ones not ported nothing that's pretty good um but these uh, eq heads very impressed with them that's a 202 valve and then if you take a look at the exhaust they pretty much are winning everywhere uh here's your stock vortec where they do lack in the exhaust department and this is just with the one one five valve versus the one six but uh if you've seen my other videos going to a one six in a vortec is very beneficial and it actually makes the pattern look similar to what you see here so uh i would say port wise vortec versus the eqs if you were to throw a 1.6 uh valve in there uh, these would be uh, somewhat similar um, but that 220 cc runner on the eq head here just really shines uh, let's uh, let's do a little bit more comparison against some other heads and see how it turns out so let's throw these up against the Dart Iron Eagle 180s uh, versus the EQ heads. As you can see here, uh, very similar. Uh, the Dart kind of takes the lead with a, this is pretty typical with a smaller uh, 180cc runner. You will get uh, a little bit more velocity down low uh, and you'll see a little bit more in the lower lift areas. Uh, but then with the bigger runner, this is the 220 cc EQ head. You can tell it just takes off. Uh, I was actually, um, to be honest, I was a little disappointed with the Dart Iron Eagles. Um, I thought they would maybe flow a little bit better. What it ended up looking like is basically uh, a Vortec head. Uh, as you can see, very similar pattern to a Vortec head, very similar flow numbers to a Vortec. Uh, but the exhaust is definitely better. It basically flows uh, just like a stock Vortec head with a 1.6 uh, exhaust valve put in it. Uh, as you can see here, the exhaust does flow better than a stock Vortec head, but it does have a 1.6 exhaust. I don't know if this is an older casting, because if you look at the advertised flow numbers of a Dart Iron Eagle 180, uh, they're a little bit better than this, 250s, I think close to 260. So this one is lacking, but I know this is at least a 20, probably 15, maybe 15 year old head, maybe a little bit older. So the, you know, maybe they've improved it. But from what I can tell, it's basically just uh, a Vortec head flow with a 1.6 exhaust valve in it. So that's you know pretty much what you get with a Dart 180, uh, with these older Dart 180 Iron Eagles. Um, I can't say up for the newer ones. Uh, if Dart is watching this video and wants to send me a set of uh, 180s to flow, I will be happy to do that. Uh, but as far as these older set and the set I have, uh, this is what you're looking at. So 242 peak at 500, uh, really decent uh, low lift uh, numbers. Uh, and then uh, 197 at uh, sorry that's the eq so uh 184 at 700 and uh 186 i think it is at 500 lift so uh, the exhaust is pretty decent on that head um but uh, overall for that price point unless the newer ones flow better uh it's not you know exceptionally flowing high flowing head that's for sure so there you go guys if you see a set of these Engine Quest RH350 heads, make sure you buy them. And if you don't buy them, make sure you message me and tell, them, tell me that there's a set available because I would definitely be interested in it because these, you know, there you go, untouched. Valve's not even unshrouded. I might even play with these a little bit. Maybe I can get them up towards of uh, hitting the 300 CFM mark. But uh, for a $400, I think it was $400 I paid for these, uh, I can't complain. They need a little bit of work, but to get that kind of flow out of a out of a cylinder head for that price point what can i say right i can't there's no complaining definitely very happy about that uh the iron eagles kind of you know semi disappointed on on those um you know for the price point especially uh you're better off maybe just getting a mexican casting um vortex head doing a little bit of work to it like i'm going to show you in the upcoming videos and uh in you know for that price it's it's kind of hard i mean you do get the thicker decks and stuff so that's that's a huge bonus but like i said in my last video the later vortex aren't as prone to cracking so the mexican cassette ones um just want to let you guys know i did uh get 
go ahead. I am doing a Torque Storm supercharger with Vortec heads. Uh, it's going to be super cool. I'm doing a sniper EFI on that conversion. Well, I'm hoping to get some dyno videos and stuff on that. I don't know if I'll be able to do it before a dyno video, but definitely an after. And then you can, uh, you guys will be able to see what kind of power it makes. I haven't done a lot of boosted uh, Vortex stuff. Done lots of boosted supercharger stuff, but nothing really with Vortec head. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see. So make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, I want to, you know, thank you guys. I hit the 3,000 subscriber mark this week. Super, super cool. I, uh, I can't say uh, enough about you guys and about how good your comments are and the positive vibes you're throwing. It's, it's just awesome. So. Thanks guys.